We're here today for Beyond the Fairways with Simon Magdolsky, the Director of Rules and Handicapping at Golf Australia. And Simon, the long putter has been causing quite a little bit of comment lately and we hope that you can uh, clear the air for us. Uh, yeah, look, it'd be fair to say that the long putter has been one of those things that's been discussed widely over the last 30 years or so, but more so in recent times with players winning major championships in particular with what's called the belly putter. So the RNA have got a proposal, can you explain what that is? Yeah, look, the, the RNA's been taking account of feedback over many years um, and looking at various developments in the game and it's, it's worked exhaustively on this and, and it's at the stage where it's put forward a very solid proposal. Um, but it's asking for feedback on that proposal before it locks everything down. The nuts and bolts of the proposal is that they're not looking at any sort of change to regulations re length of club. So the long putter, there's, there's no question at this stage that uh, it would be banned. It's more the way the club will be used. So it's not a, a length of club issue, it's a, it's a method of stroke issue. And what's being proposed is that players won't be able to actually anchor the club to their body when they're making a stroke. So the long putter as such can still be used, but not in the manner that most people have been using it. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. This, this club currently, long putter, um, you're allowed to use it. Uh, the proposal is that a rule will come in in 2016. Now in 2016, this club will still be um, able to be used by players, whether on PGA Tours or at club level. Currently, a player can anchor the club to their body to play a stroke, but the proposal is that this stroke, the anchoring stroke, uh, will be banned so the player will have to hold the club away from their body when they're making the stroke. Now we've got uh, drum and golf ambassador Matt Griffin here to act as our model today and let's have a look at uh, uh, what the differences are likely to be. So what Matt will do with this first part is have the club actually jammed into his stomach so it's anchored into his stomach and the RNA proposal um, that would come in in 2016 will ban that type of stroke. Now, the second type of stroke we'll see from Matt is using the exact same club, but he doesn't have it anchored against his body. And this type of stroke, exactly the same club, but this type of stroke won't be banned under the proposed rule. So the club that Matt's using is a slightly longer club than the belly putter this time. Again, he's got it anchored against his chest. The RNA proposal, which would come in in 2016, would ban this type of stroke. Now, the second type of stroke we'll see Matt employ. Again, exactly the same club, so we're not concerned about the length of the club. It's the anchoring that we're concerned about. There's no anchoring here, and that type of stroke that will still be fine um, should the proposal come forward into 2016. So Matt, why do you think so many golfers have started using the belly putter in the recent years? I guess it's something that's gradually built up over time. and um, The big, best way I can describe why the belly putter is an advantage to use is if you put your arms out in front of you with just your regular putter and if you try and, just with your arms loose, try and take the putter back and forward that way I find it to be harder to control than when you do the action of what the belly putter is. So if you stick the end of the club into your belly, grip down the shaft a bit, and then try and do the same thing, really you've anchored the putter. So it's a lot easier to take the putter back and forward that way. What it does, what a lot of players find, it takes the nerves out of their putting, um, and in the end they hold more putts, and it's gradually more and more players are using it. If the proposal is accepted, is there any advantage in using the belly putter without anchoring it? Um, I think one thing the belly putter will, will probably go, go a lot. It's going to be hard for players to, I guess they're going to have to hold it like this and do that. You probably see if any players use the longer putter, it will be more the broomstick putter, which they can easily, it's probably easy to hold that out here and then take that back and forward. But you're probably going to really see that only the real people that have to go away from that will be using it. You won't be seeing young kids using it, hopefully. And for me, I'm quite happy sticking with my uh, trusty old Scotty Cameron, just the regular length.
So Simon, just closing off on that, why now? Why has the RNA decided to move on the long putter now? Well, I guess just to reiterate firstly that they're not actually looking to stamp out the long putter. It's, it's accepted that there are people out there who really struggle to use the short putter. They, they have the yips and we get plenty of feedback from people saying, if you force me to use a short putter, um, I'm just facing four putt greens all the time and I just can't keep playing the game. So these players will still be able to use a long putter, they just won't be able to anchor it to their body. But why has this become such an urgent issue for the RNA and the USGA all of a sudden? The key is, I guess, this new belly stroke that so many players are starting to employ. And it's not just that you get a lot of the, the PGA Tour players who are employing this stroke, you've also got coaches who are starting to see it as a more technically pure stroke and they're starting to teach it to kids. And the feel is that if this isn't addressed now, if it's left another three or four years, you'll start to get a whole generation of people who'll come through using what's perceived to be a, a first resort stroke, a, a more technically pure stroke. And if a whole generation are picking it up in three or four years time, it'll be really too late to do anything about it. So the RNA has said, we either go on this now um, or we are going to find it very difficult to address in the future. So it, it really is um, an urgent um, first priority issue. And currently there's no rule uh, setting the length of a putter, but there is for a driver? That's right. Um, driver can't be any longer than 48 inches. Um, a putter, it can be as long as you like. But again, in, in future, um, you'll still be able to use your, your long putter under this proposal, it's just that you won't be able to anchor it into your body. That's, it's felt that by anchoring the club into the body, whether the long putter or the belly putter, that that's not a stroke um, in the traditional sense of the game.